Welcome to JobSkillsShare.com and today we are going to be working on our project for Active Directory users and management so when you guys log in go to the Active Directory course click on go to the course and then click on forums you can also access this from the learning pad but this is the easy way certification project and then click on certification project again and this is where it is the video is going to go over here so all you have to do is click on this link just like we do in other um, course this is basically a demo from manage engine so when you click on it you will basically go to this page and then you click on administrator demo and you'll get locked into this one the reason I picked this that we don't have a server for everybody and not everyone can have get server ready put active directory on it so we just look we were looking for something um, demo online so this is a perfect way because you don't have to really manage active directory from the server you can use external tools and this is one of the example the only thing that what I want from you guys to know this uh, how to add users how to add computers and stuff like that so in this demo you will click on AD management and here are the three things that I'm interested user management so if you click on click uh, and the only thing that you're gonna be doing in this project is using create single user so we're not doing anything else um, in this project we're just creating a single user then we're gonna go you're gonna click on computer management and then create a single computer and then you're gonna go ahead and click on group management and click on create single group so once you create everything the naming should be like this so if I put D header right now you can see I have a computer name which is D header 1w7 and that's gonna be your um, jobskillshare.com username and ID so first name and last name is going to be your first initials, your last name, and 1W7. Then your, um, again, your D header, your first and last initials, and then you're going to put a group. When you create a group, you'll have to name it group, and then your name on jobskillshare.com. Full name. Just how it is on your jobskillshare. And then you're going to take a screenshot and send it to me, just like you do in, did in other projects this is how I am going to give you the hundred percent for this project that will tell me that you can now it doesn't matter if you're on a server or any web base or any external tools you can go and create a users in Active Directory so after this when you do that it's really easy because let's say I wanna go back and search and then this is how you're gonna search too once you create everything you're gonna go back here and search your name I did it by by my username so I did like D Heather and now it gave me all of these three in one shot so I'm going to take a screenshot and send it this is how I'm gonna get graded but let's say in real world if I wanted to do something with these I would basically click on my user and it will open the account in Active Directory you will do the same thing you search it you double click on the account and it gives you some kind of information like this so you see the same information that you will be adding the user it's going to be here you can change it just like an active directory you can change the email you could go to the account just like an active directory you can right click on it and then you will see reset password you can change the password here or change the properties like you know user must change password at next login that we touched in the videos user cannot change the password and all these these information all that is in uh, also in active directory on the server software itself so since we don't have a server here we're going to be using the same exact method but on a web-based demo system from a manage engine so again you log in here you go back to the AD management and just these three you click on user management click on create single user and then same exact jobskillshare.com username and ID first and first name and last name you create all that information here then you put a computer name with 1w7 your first and last name initials sorry your first initials and last name and then you click on group management you click on create single group then you go at the end type here and it should give you all the three 
computer group user. So then take a screenshot and send it to me. So that's it from jobskillshare.com and hope you guys, it was an easy project for you guys and see you guys soon. Bye bye.